spill my drink. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex. Last episode we finished the LaGuardia Airfield mission and we uh, were given some information regarding Paul's uh, apparent defection toward the NSF. Uh, this is quite startling news and we're not quite sure how to take it, but Gunther's over there and he really wants Paul dead. So it looks like uh, he's just he's just labelled himself an enemy of the state, so Yanatko is not really very happy with him at the moment. So we're about to report back to Yanatko just to see uh, Manderly flip his shit and see how it all unfolds. Gunther told me about Paul. It's true. Paul's been working for the NSF. This is gonna shake up the coalition, JC. I don't know if you realized how important your brother was. Coalition will recover. I'm not so worried about the coalition. UN officials will probably get involved. You'll have to keep your head down if you're gonna come through this in one piece. Sure you're ready to head back to base? I'm ready. Let's move out. Get in. Alright, so let's head back to Yanatko and observe the fallout. Now, uh, what you might have already noticed here, uh, what was it, 0421? Shit. While I uh, look for the code here, um, I really should know it, shouldn't I? Uh, the Unatco theme is playing even though we're outside the base for some reason. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, usually it starts once we actually get into the hallway of Unatco. Anyway, trivia, whoop de fuck. So, uh, there's no real need to go into the security terminal. Let's just check back here for items. You'll want to do the, uh, the scouring of the Inatco grounds every time you come here because new things will appear. Uh, what we could really do with is a medbot. Because, uh, yeah, we didn't exactly play the uh, the level very well, did we? But I think we'll be fine. This area is off limits. Manderly wants you to stop by his office. Don't sweat it if he chews you out. I think you made the right decision by not killing Lebedev. Sorry, Agent. Only authorized personnel. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'd be kind of worried if anyone was chewing me out. Let alone Manderly, of all people. So we should be, uh, we should be familiar with this place by now. Uh, that's the same newspaper as always. What isn't very clear in Deus Ex is whether days are actually passing or whether it's all just takes place in the one day. Because it's really, nighttime just seems to go forever, Don't doesn't worry. it? Manderly calmed down when he heard that Anna took care of Lebedev. Hmm. It's all well and good, Lloyd. What the hell? Yeah, well, you should be used to this by now, shouldn't you? So yeah, Anna did kill Lebedev. I mean, we failed the mission in that respect, but we did get some important information out of him. Paul Denton revoked. Yep, so it looks like... You'll be alright. He's mainly upset about Paul. It looks like Paul's been ordered to, uh... shoot to kill status. Yeah, see, see what I mean? The, uh, when we go through this, through the low point, the theme starts up again. So, it's like they just put the wrong theme in the outside area. Oh, uh, we don't need a drink. Manderly's blowing his top. You better go see him on the double. I don't, not, not sure if I really want to, to be honest. Let's check here for items. Yeah, so do we really want to face Manderly in this state? I mean, he'll, uh, he's not going to be the most pleasant person to talk to at the moment, I can imagine. To 
so we'll just do the regular scouring of all the offices. This should be pretty quick. It's a question of who benefits society more. But who decides that? You? It's implicit. I think Paul just had a soft spot for the plague victims. Every human institution is like a pyramid. Those with ability are at the top. They're more important. Maybe it's the foundation that's important. When the foundation's gone, they make the decisions. They keep the machine running. Therefore, they must be protected first. I'm not saying Paul was right. It's basic tactics. Protect your command centers, your airstrips, your industrial zones. It's just the rationing. Seems like the government could pay VersaLife to manufacture more. Right. Uh, an interesting conversation we hear. That last sentence is very important. The government could pay VersaLife to manufacture more. Well, we'll be hearing about VersaLife a bit later. They are quite a large corporation owned by someone whom you may know. But we'll get into that. I won't reveal any information on that subject too soon. Manufacture more what at VersaLife? Well, could we assume Ambrosia, considering he was talking about Paul and his uh, sympathy for the plague victims? Maybe. But is that all that's in it? Uh, does Paul just really sympathize with the people? I mean, Paul's a nice guy, but is it worth siding with terrorists over? Mm, probably not, I would imagine, but... I don't know, maybe... Maybe... Okay. Well, remind me to come back for this armor. But just in case I forget... Oh no, wait. I'm a fucking idiot. Let me use this. Ignore everything I just said. Uh, spider gun is 0.4 recoil. Sniper is 0.36, so we'll put it on the spider gun and we'll pick that back up. And careful not to step on the cleaning box, because that wouldn't be very nice. Oh, we should check our emails. From Alex, come by my office. We need to talk about that last mission in person. And he says after we've been debriefed, but surely there's no harm in going down there first. Maybe there would be. I suppose we'd better see Mandalay, but who's in here? Let's get a bit of a closer look. Hmm. Seems that there's sniper rifle ammo, bioelectric cells, spider gun ammo, and darts. Not sure we need those, but we do have a lot of picks. Wonder what's on the news today. Nothing I can understand, that's for sure. What kind of pain? Behind the eyes, a sharp burning, almost electrical. How's your bioelectric level? It's always at 100%. I like to stay prepared. That's probably it right there. Free radicals. You should charge your systems only when they've been significantly drained. I wasn't informed of that. It's a lot like an electric razor. If you leave it plugged in all the time, the battery loses its zero point. Just watch your levels. Interesting. Thanks, Doctor. Let me know how it goes. Not doing anything, just getting a drink. Not eavesdropping. But, uh, what's going on, uh, I'm... Get everybody patched up. Everybody except you. You look terrible. I took a few hits this time. Nothing I can't treat myself. Well, let me know if I can help. As usual, take what you need from the medicine. Thanks. They just dropped off a few liters of the ambrosia you recovered, by the way. Good work out there, Denton. I want you to know, we will not let your brother's activity cast its shadow on you. Yes, sir. I'm grateful for that. I just wish we'd found out sooner. No harm done. We have you to take his place. Is a few leaders going to be enough? Well, no one on staff's gonna catch Grey Dead this m Hey, come back. I saw you listening in. Yes, it's true. I have augmentations like yours. Don't you work down in Washington? Actually, I'm the director of FEMA. Sounds like you wouldn't have much use for physical augmentations. You underestimate the demands of my work. We deal with every sort of natural and unnatural disaster you can imagine. But you're the director. You work behind a desk. Am I behind a desk right now? No, 
I'm not. That's because we have a situation here in New York. I got to my position because I can fix things. You will see shortly because as you have probably noticed yourself, this agency is broken and needs an overhaul. Okay, so uh, Mr. Walton Simons here is uh, not behind a desk right now. No, he is not. And that's an interesting opening of the door there, Walton. But, uh, yeah, if you look aside from his ridiculous voice acting, what you'll uh, notice is that he is the director of FEMA, which is an organization that does exist in reality. Uh, we hear nothing of it in this country, but uh, it's apparently a big deal in America, and I'll probably spare you on that, because most of the audience are probably American and already know for the, the, uh, for the to begin with. So, what we'll do is we'll just cook up some noodles on here. And uh, what Walton Simon's here for is, uh, apparently, he's here to sort of uh, as an internal affairs kind of uh, thing, and he's going to try and put new people in new positions around UNATCO, because it's broken and needs an overhaul. Paul said UNATCO uses the ambrosia supply to influence national governments. What do you think about that? So it's true. He went over to the NSF. He makes some sense. I ignored the mission objective of killing his boss, Juan Lebedev, but Agent Navarre intervened. What did Mandalay say? I didn't talk to him yet. Oh, you better get to his office. He's not going to like that one bit. Well, Jaime doesn't seem to be in uh, such support as Alex, but he'll stick by us. I doubt he'll be so soon to uh, go against us, and especially Paul. I mean, we've all been friends for a while. But Mandalay's the one I'm worried about. Yep, you open the door the same way, huh? Maybe we should start getting uh, doors that go both ways. So like bisexual. Alright, so you're very if slow. It's a conspiracy, it's a Versalife. They're the ones making money off the play. And there he goes mentioning Versalife again. So this name keeps popping up. And uh, like I said, we're gonna learn more about it. Uh But he said to uh, make money off the plague. Could they be making ambrosia there? Probably. So if ambrosia is manufactured, then why can't it just be uh, made infinitely and spread around to everyone that needs it? And for free, considering there's life is at stake and the majority are homeless. But that's what Paul's trying to uh, figure out is at the NSF is maybe Ambrosia is being used as a governmental tool rather than as a way of stopping people from catching the plague. Glad one of the Dentons is gonna stick it out. Yeah, you can count on me. I can believe it, JC. What got into Paul? I guess he got a better offer. What a blow. I don't know how we'll recover. It's almost like losing a son. I don't understand it myself, but we've got to go on. Is Manderley available? Go right in, JC. He has a lot to discuss. It's almost like losing a son. What's the idea, JC? So we'll just hack our account here and see if we uh, can't find any interesting information regarding the subject. Nope, no emails you today. Not keep him waiting. I'm not. Jesus Christ. I'm just going in now. So, let's go see what Mandalay has for us. He's not going to be happy. Uh, just before we start, I like how Walton Simon says, It's true, I have augmentations like yours. Like I couldn't notice from the blue fucking veins sticking out of his face. Alright, Tinton. What the hell happened? You were under direct orders. My orders. Sorry about not killing Lebedev. He seemed worth interrogating. We don't give you enough information to make a call like that. I guess that means I don't get the op bonus. You can turn in your weapons right now, if you're going to be a smart ass. I risked my life and I recovered the ambrosia. I deserve compensation. We don't have time for trifles. Whatever, take it. But it will be the last one. 
Clearly, monetary incentives don't work with you and Paul. I try to do the best job I can. Just shut up and listen for a second. Christ, JC, this kind of behavior, not to mention your brother's defection, is making certain powerful people very nervous. Nervous about you. You understand the importance of loyalty, don't you? Yes, but... Well, that's what seems to be missing in you and your brother. Brace yourself for an ugly lesson, JC. Coalition has shut down Paul's augmentations and has activated the kill switch. Activated what? He's our enemy now. He's gone, JC. The Coalition wants you to understand that he's just another terrorist, like the ones that have died by your very hand this evening. Can they really kill him? With the press of a button? Yes, and you too. So take these orders seriously. They're sending you to Hong Kong. What about Paul? Will I get to see him again? Please, just get your equipment and meet our pilot jock at the helipad. You'll need to take out a man called Tracer Tong. Paul's contact in Hong Kong. Prove that they can trust you. JC? Yes. It's critical that they trust you. Okay, so that went a bit better than expected. Uh, I like how he called JC a smartass. Uh, it's, it seems uh, fitting, really. The only way to allay their suspicions of you, JC, is to actively work against your brother's allies. Now, I don't know why, but in that conversation string before, uh, Mandalay was labelled as Unatco Chief. I have no idea why that is. Yeah, so, uh, there's a reload augmentation in the toilet for some reason, and it seems that some rather critical news has sprung up about Paul in that the Coalition has activated his kill switch. That essentially means he can be instantly deactivated uh, whenever and wherever he is. So... It looks like we're not going to be seeing Paul much more because, well, he's about to die. Um, but surely, surely we'll see him again, right? I mean, they're not just going to kill off our brother so easily. It's quite sad and it's a bit of a moral uh, dilemma that's happening here. Does JC follow his orders or does he try and save his brother? Well, at the moment, he, all he's got to do is actively work against his brother's allies. Grow up, JC. Fuck off, Mandalay. So, essentially, what uh, JC has to sort out is whether he wants to actually stay loyal to Unatco, like Mandalay was saying, or try and save Paul. Who knows? Uh, so, this is from Jaime. Uh, you can read that. And from Walton Simons, he's dispatched Agent Sherman. Not sure who that is. Doesn't seem to be a dis uh, misspelling of Agent Herman. But the uh, similarity is quite silly. I just can't get over it. How could Paul do this to us? Yeah, well, I'm not sure... Ah, oh, excuse me. I'm not sure Paul is actually... Uh doing it to you specifically. I think it's more a, a global interest kind of thing. Or at least a national interest. Then what'd you do? I chased them into the building. Weren't you scared? A little, but when I'm wearing this helmet, I've learned to set aside the instincts of a civilian and be completely professional. They had assault guns. Tactically, I had the advantage. It was important to act before the situation changed. How you troopers do it, I can't imagine. Look at this guy trying to get laid. Oh, for all he knows. Just caught a few slugs, but I had a job to do and I did it. Amazing. It was just blind luck that one of the terrorists was carrying orders from Lebedev. We never would have known about the airlift if you hadn't been so courageous. Oh, no, no, don't start that. Just following orders. And we might never have recovered the shipment. It all depended on you. Well... I was happy to do my part. Oi, bitch. That was all JC's job. Don't give up, will you? Oh, What's wrong? what? 
Agent Denton's the guy I met in the bathroom. Oh. Oh. I see. Oh, come on, Agent Denton. That was ages ago. I have assault guns! Fucking fine. Back to the same old routine. Hey, Shannon. Shannon, look at me. Look at me, I'm going into the ladies' toilets. Look at me. Fucking bitch. Huh. Yeah. Nice try there. Okay. So, um... Let's see. We definitely need this med bot, and we have some augmentations to install. I'm just waiting for this massive explosion when uh, someone tries to go into the toilets. So, EMP shield or ballistic protection. Let's see what we've got. EMP shield does nanoscale EMP generators partially protect individual nanites and reduce bioelectric drain by cancelling incoming pulses. So, damage from EMP attacks is reduced slightly. And this one here, Ballistic Protection. Monomolecular plates reinforce the skin's epithelial membrane, reducing the damage an agent receives from projectiles and bladed weapons. Okay. So, we basically need to weigh up whether we think it's advantageous to carry around EMP protection or protection from physical attacks. Uh, which is the best? Well, we can carry around ballistic armor to do essentially what the ballistic protection does. So in that sense, using EMP shield is something that we can't actually get through any other means. The other problem is that if we take ballistic protection, then we can activate it whenever and we can free up a slot in our inventory because we don't need to carry around ballistic armor. Uh, there's not a whole lot of use for EMP shield in the game, so in case we need to charge into fire, we are on hard mode. I'm going to take ballistic protection. I love that uh, everyone's probably screaming whenever I pick an orb because it's not what they uh, what they would pick. Let's hack Jaime's computer. I know I. I have all their passwords, but uh, I can't be bothered typing them out, honestly. It's easier just hacking. You just press a button, you sit here, and it does it for you. So, this is a medical directorate. Uh, message reply from Mandalay. And another email. Ow. Oh. Shit. I just activated the alarm because I stayed hacking for too long. Ah, uh, shit. So, uh, this is what happens when you fail a hack. Let's pretend I did this on purpose. Alright, well, people aren't trying Don't to kill me. Business about the 747. I heard they got Lebedev anyway. People aren't trying to kill me, that's a good sign. So yeah, that completely depleted all my bioelectric energy. So, uh, yeah, this is why I'm saying that I'll leave the emails to be read uh, at your own leisure with the uh, use of the pause function, because I can't actually read them to you comfortably. Looks like the cleaner bots were busy when I was gone. Alright, let's try and find the code for this. Uh, pretty sure it should be down here somewhere. Just give me a second. 9183. Fucking fuck. Maybe we don't have the code. Do we have the key for it? No. Hmm. Sure we had the code. I was sure we had the code. Well, let's go down here instead. 
Wow, you're kidding me. There's... Oh, I have no energy. Doesn't seem to be anything down here. Looks like Alex smartened up and uh, stopped hiding things down there. Well, we have 19 tools, so let's just break into here. And there's a multi-tool on here. Well, fuckity do. Hello. We're full on lockpicks. Holy shit. A lot of surprises this time. Paul, a terrorist. Wow. He got me to disobey orders. I don't know what to think anymore. I wonder what it is he found out. Why he'd defect. He thinks he has proof of a conspiracy. Wild stuff, huh? I'd like to hear what he has to say. If you hear from him or if you find out where he is, don't worry about the info link. I'll erase the archives. You think he's right? Worth hearing him out. I've never known Paul to make a mistake. Manderley was tuned in when you reached the 747. It really is all over for Paul. Yeah, alright, so it seems like there's not much hope for Paul at the moment. But Alex and Jaime seem to at least be on our side, and that's uh, consolation enough for the moment. So we've still got to see Sam, and what's Walton Simons doing in here? Hey Walton, you might want to, uh, might want to check out something in the ladies' uh, restrooms. What do you mean by overhaul? You will receive a memo in a few days. I am still collecting data. UNATCO was very effective this evening. We recaptured the shipment. You don't have to worry, Agent. It's the softer elements I am after. Like who? You're beginning to exceed your clearance. What are you? Angel OA? Excuse my persistence. I'll wait for the memo. Good. Carry on. I said no more questions. He's a, he's a pretty uh, gruff sort of guy, but yeah, the softer elements that he needs overhauled. Uh, he won't tell us what that means, but... Uh, yeah, well, what could that mean? Uh, I hope he doesn't replace Private Lloyd. Not much happening down here, Agent. We had to execute the prisoners. Oh, what? Why? Why'd you, why'd you have to execute the prisoners? Doesn't seem like something you'd need to do. There's a prod charger here. Settle down, Agent. Okay. Oh, cool. Some crates stacked up. You better leave that asinine behavior right here, soldier. It will get you killed. Really, Sam? Breaking boxes will get me killed. You know, that's probably... It's probably being a little over the top. How are you holding up? Not so good. I don't know who to trust anymore. No one blames you about Lebedev. You refused an order to kill in cold blood. Precisely your duty as a UNATCO peacekeeper. Manderly certainly does. He'll cool down. The important thing is that you obey your conscience. Right. Tell me what you need, and I'll load you up. Okay, so Sam will offer us here tranquilizer darts, shotgun ammo, sniper rifle ammo, or get gun ammo. We pretty good on all of these, honestly. Let's take sniper ammo. Sniper rifle, 30 out six. You learn fast. I'm impressed. We, we might as well, I mean, we don't really need any of that. So we can't talk to Sam again, we're pretty much done. And we've done everything in here. Alright, cool. Now, uh... Before we go, let me just pick up this health hazard in here. There you go, Shannon, I just saved your life. No need to thank me, you fucking bitch. Alright. Looks like we're done. We're done a Rooney. Oops, sorry, cleaning bot. I got you this opportunity. Now it's up to you. Alright, it's time to go assassinate Tracer Tong, but first I just want to open this. Because Alex has a lot picked downstairs. 
Alright, so let's review what we've just uh, discovered. So basically, Paul is an enemy of Yanako. He's about to be killed. Uh, his kill switch has been activated, and basically he doesn't have long to live. So what can we do about that? Uh, it seems like Sam wants us to trust our conscience, and I'd say that part of our conscience would be to save Paul from imminent death. I mean, he is our brother. So, uh, they're sending us over to Hong Kong to kill Tracer Tong. But, is that really a good use of our uh, resources? Maybe we'll want to see Paul one last time? Not sure, maybe? So long, Agent. But, it's good to know we have some support from the Inatco uh, staff. Even if Mandalay thinks that we're dickheads. And what's this about Walton Simons overhauling Unatco? Uh, we'll miss you, Agent. Yeah, Lloyd, I'd, I'd be worried for your job, man. Alright, well, this was an interesting endeavor to the Unatco base, but next time we get together, we will be going to Hong Kong to assassinate. A Chinese man. Excellent. See you then. Shut up.